Hello everyone. In this machine learning le uh, lecture, we are going to study first what is mean by machine learning. Second, which are the basics of machine learning by example. Why machine learning is important or which are the applications of machine learning. Types of machine learning. There are three types of machine learning. Number one is supervised learning. Number two is unsupervised learning. And number three is reinforcement learning. So what is machine learning? As we know, human learns from his past experience. And machine follow the instructions given by human. But what if human can train machine to learn from his past experience is the machine learning. Machine learning can change your life provided you must know how to implement right model to the right algorithm. This here the definition of machine learning is given. Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that provides system the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can access data and use it learn for themselves. Machine learning algorithms use historical data as input to predict new output values. So basics of machine learning we see by one example. If a person loves to listen a song, but he can like or dislike the song. His liking and disliking of a song is depends on two variable. Number one is the tempo of that song and number two is the intensity of that song. If the tempo is ranging from relaxed to fast and light uh, intensity is ranging from light to soaring. If we take one variable on x axis that is tempo and other variable on y axis that is intensity. And if we collect the previous data of the person's liking and disliking of the songs and if you draw the graph and if you get point like this and these points represents the person having the song having the fast tempo and the soaring intensity this type of song that person likes and if the song having the relaxed tempo and light intensity this type of songs are the dislike songs so according to this if new song is there if that come in the area of this a a group anywhere near to a then easily we can identify that this song is the like song and if that song come in the this b group near to b group we can easily identify that song will be dislike but if the point come here, so in this case, this point is in the middle. We can't predict that song is like or dislike. But if this type of complicated problems come, we use the machine learning technique. So here we draw a circle about this point. And if you ob ob see here, Observe that maximum point this uh, liking points come in this circle. But if we complete this circle here, near about maximum one point will come. So definitely we can by using this we can identify maximum chance of that will be come in the area of liking sum. So this is one of the example of machine learning and this technique is called as K nearest neighbor. So why machine learning is important or which are the applications of machine learning? It can help you to select a faster, faster, faster route with less traffic to visit new destination. When we travel from one place to another place, so by using Google map you can search the nearest route or which route having the less traffic. So that save your uh, money and time also. So by using this uh, machine learning techniques, this Google map works or if the there are 
four routes available to go from one place to another place but if you know the another fifth uh, route and if you go by that route then google map or uh, this machine by using machine learning techniques it learn from you and next time if you search the route then it will add the uh, this fifth route also so machine learn from your feedback second thing it can book a car for you so by using uber app when we travel we can book a car or we can see the nearest car uh, near, nearest vehicle available to book or what is the cost required so all this uh, done by using machine learning techniques it can drive a car for you so tesla is the one self driving car so without a driver that by using machine learning technique it can drive a car then it gives auto friend tagging suggestion so by in facebook if you upload any new photo and if that photo is group photo and any your friend is present in that photo so facebook suggest you immediately are you interested to tag your friend or not so this technique also done by uh, using machine learning it can unlock your phone with your face so because of privacy or to maintain a private data this will help us so face detection technique by using only your face your machine uh, your phone uh, will lock or unlock it recommends ads based on your search if you search any if you are interested to buy a product any product so what this machine do uh, if you search that product on google or any amazon app then he search your, uh, that that this person search your history and according to that similar product ads will come in the next day or in the same day immediately ads related to that product will come this is also a machine learning techniques then it can replace uh, replicates dish cooked by any master chef in the world this mole is the first robotic and that robot learn from the master chef how uh, they cook all the techniques of master chef learn by the machine and same same uh, dish that uh, robot can made for you so this is and this mole is the artificial hands and that work same as a human hands it can provide free fast and accurate translation of words uh, translation of words so when you travel from one place to that place where that local language you don't know so you you are in trouble to understand the uh, things or directions so in this case if you use the google translate so that translate the language in your mother tongue so to communicate with the people those who don't know our language this google translate will help you and that also work on the machine learning techniques it can play a table tennis with you so kuka is the one robot and that robot can play a table tennis last is it can save your life by detecting and diagnosis disease this is very important it's related to our life so many diseases eye diseases or uh, cancer diseases these diseases are detected by using the machine learning techniques and some diseases can diagnose by using this machine learning technique so this is very important last it can save your property by detecting for detections so if any person any student's account is there and in this account previous history says that the minimum transaction is 100 rupees and maximum transaction is 1000 rupees and if the next transaction is near about 10000 rupees immediately change so ma machine identify that transaction or immediately uh, give you the message are really same person using that uh, account or not or 
any ATM. So these are the applications of machine learning. That's why machine learning is important. There are three types of machine learning. One is supervised learning. Number two is unsupervised learning. Number three is reinforcement learning. So one by one we see first by example and after that we define the terms. So what is supervised learning? If your friend is giving you the coins. 1 rupees coin, 5 rupees coin and 10 rupees coin. And if you know the weight of the coins, so this is the information known. So 5 rupees, 1 rupees coin having the weight 5 gram. 5 rupees coin having the rate, uh, weight 3 gram and 10 rupees coin having the weight 7 gram. So weight of the coin is the features and amount in rupees is the level of coin. So Machine learns these things means, uh, by using the data that if the coin having the uh, weight 5 gram that is 1 rupees coin. So this information first machine learns and after that if you give the any new coin and machine identify the weight and according to that it will give the coin is 1 rupees coin or 5 rupees coin or 10. Here the meaning of supervised learning is given. This type of machine learning involves algorithms that train on label training data and define the variables they want the algorithm to access for corrections. Supervised machine learning requires the data scientists to train the algorithm with both label inputs and desired outputs. Supervised learning algorithms are good for the following tasks. Number one is for binary classification, classification dividing data into two categories like a success and failure or yes or no tie. Then multi-class classification choosing between, uh, between more than two types of answer means if there are more than two classes available then we say multi-class classification. Regression modeling predicting continuous values you know regression means what it's this regression term is related with correlation correlation means the extent of linear relationship between two variables and if two variables are correlated then by using one variable we predict the other variable this is the regression modeling then ensembling combining the predictions of multiple machine learning models to produce an accurate prediction. So these are the tasks where we can use the machine uh, supervised learning techniques. Then we see unsupervised learning by an example. If cricket data sets of various players with respect to runs and wickets are given, in unsupervised learning data is not labeled. According to the similar characteristics, we classify the data or give the nomenclature to the data. So, if the players runs and wickets are given and if we take one variable on x axis that is the wickets taken by player and runs scored by player on y axis and if you plot a graph and if first we get this cluster, so in this cluster if you see the number of runs scored by player is more as compared to wickets taken. Wickets taken is less. And if you get the other cluster, in that if you see the wickets taken is more, but no runs scored by that player is less. So according to this information, easily we can identify that or if uh, new player is there, so if that come, this is uh, according to that if the runs code are more and wickets are, are less, we can say that is, that is a set of batsmen. Or if the wickets are more and runs code is the less, then that will be the set of baller. If any new person and uh, player's data in front of you, if, we, if that come in the first part, that is in the group of batsmen means less wicket and more runs so we can say that player is a batsman or if that come here 
uh, in the baller's area then we can say that is a baller so in this way unlabeled data we labeled as a in the two clusters like a batsman and baller so this is the example of unsupervised learning so meaning of unsupervised learning is this type of machine learning enos algorithms that train and on unclassified and unlabeled data the algorithm scans through data sets looking for any meaningful connections or patterns that can be used to group data points into subsets most type of deep learning including neural networks are unsupervised algorithms so unsupervised learning algorithms are good for the following task number 1 clustering already we see the how we make a cluster of players uh, player data so splitting the data set into groups based on similarities then anomaly detection identifying unusual data points in a data set association mining identifying sets of atoms in a data set that frequently occur together dimensionality reduction reducing the number of variables in the data set so these are the tasks where we can use the unsupervised learning algorithm then last type of machine learning technique is the reinforcement learning so here in this case the machine learn from your feedback so if the image of dog is given to the machine and if the features are identified by machine and if machine give that is the cat means what the answer given by the machine is the wrong so you will get you will give the negative feedback so if you give the negative feedback and you give the answer to the machine that is the dog so machine learn from your feedback and after that if you give any image of dog then definitely machine identify and it give the correct answer that is the dog so this is the example of reinforcement learning reinforcement learning this is the learning method that interacts with its environment by producing actions and discovers errors or rewards trial and error search and delayed rewards are the most relevant characteristics of reinforcement learning this method allows machine and software agents to automatically determine the ideal behavior within a specific context in order to maximize its performance reinforcement learning is used in the following areas first is robotics robots can learn to perform tasks in in the physical world using these techniques video game play reinforcement learning has been used to teach boards to play a number of video games this is about reinforcement learning thank you